That was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Are you a knight? No. Heptandus King. Heptanda lives in there. Oh no, it did end. We're trapped. Hello, traveler. Billy, you made it. The seven times table isn't easy. So listen carefully. She's escaping. Excuse me, Your Majesty, uh, numero uno. The uh, first of all numbers, apart from zero, which uh, doesn't really count. It's all relative, really. Minus one could be... Oi! Yes! Uh, I'm afraid we've had a little bit of trouble. Hmm. What's happened now? The professor's still refusing to build me a new number generator, hmm? Not quite. In fact, he's, uh, he's already started on the entropy quantifier using a kind of base digital grid. Barry! Barry! Uh, now you're crunching us, it's, it's the girl, Millie. She's, uh, well, she's escaped. What? That's right, she somehow got out of her cage and scarpered. Hm, very clever girl. And I suppose you two dimwits have nothing to do with it, did you? Why do I bother with you? Release the number crunchers. She'll no doubt try to track down Millie. If we were clever, she could lead us right to them. Hm. Be off with you! Yes, Your Majesty! Night, night, Your Majesty. I know you're both following me, but I really don't know where I'm going. Don't worry, Billy. Just keep heading straight. We'll soon be out of here and at the Marble Plains. Uh, I think... What a horrible place this is! Where are we, Sammy? The Octobug Swamps. Octobugs? Eight smelly bugs, Billy, all lined together in slimy, soggy unity. I think it's rather pretty myself. But beware, these bugs are silent, but scary. Scary? Shh, you'll wake them up. Wake what? Shush, they'll hear you. Quite frankly, Sammy, I don't care. If it were not for my low battery power, I'd fly us right out of here. But I can't, and therefore I feel useless. You were telling me to... Who? Who are you? What do you want? They don't speak, Billy. Can't they hear me? No, they can hear you, but they just can't speak. Leave it to me, Billy. Hey, you guys. How are you doing this fine damp day? You know, uh, we're in kind of a rush here. Low battery life, calculus to save. Uh, can you let us through? Oh, guys, don't make me get mad here. Come on. OK, have it your way. Here we go. Only a quick game, though. It's a book and a film. Billy, I know of these hands. They were known as a finger counters. A fun-loving folk who loved parties and festivals. Yes, playing, dancing and games was a life of a finger counter. There were once many villages around these parts. Beautiful halls covered in flowers and always music in the air. That was until Zeta came. My dear finger counters. The finger counters were always getting their numbers wrong because they could only count on their fingers. Ask a finger counter Eight times four. Uh, thirty-two. They would be there for ages, counting it up on their fingers. And Zeta knew this. She knew there would be plenty of wrong numbers here for her to crunch. And she was I right. You can't do that one, can you? <laughs> counting on your fingers. That's not the right answer. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Shh! 
she made them feel so stupid that they ran away. They went somewhere where they would never be ridiculed again. The swamps. Oh, dear. They just want to play, Billy. They won't hurt us. But if the finger counters can only count on their fingers, they won't be able to help us learn the eight times table. The eight times table? But that's my favourite times table. I can teach you that. You can? Of course. Why did you say so? Hey, guys, lend us a hand. <laughs> 